Till now, I used mostly Arduino Nano and less often Arduino Uno or Mega for my projects. With those MCs I controlled a number of different devices, which all had one thing in common. They required 5 volts or more to work. And that was fine as Arduino Nano, Uno and Mega use 5 volts logic level voltage. But you may stumble across a part that requires 3.3 volts to work, like this LoRa module here. If you by chance connected to Arduino Nano, you would set it ablaze, and you wouldn't like to do that, right? In this case you need to use microcontroller with 3.3 logic level voltage. And then our LoRa module would be fine. I am sure there are quite a few of them available, but in this video I would introduce you to Arduino Pro Mini. If you do not have any experience with that microcontroller, stick around. So here we have our Arduino Pro Mini. Let's compare it with Arduino Nano and point all similarities and differences. Arduino Pro Mini has total of three ground pins as compared to just two for Arduino Nano. Row pin is used to power the microcontroller with unregulated voltage 9 to 12 volts and it is equivalent of VIN pin on the Arduino Nano. Then you have two VCC pins that assuming that this microcontroller is working with 3 volt logic provide 3.3 volts. You can also power the microcontroller through those pins with regulated voltage of 3.3 volts. Nano in turn has one VCC pin that provides 5 volts and one 3V3 pin that provides 3.3 volts. Both boards provide the same amount of digital pins that you can use in your projects, 12 in total. They are identical when it comes to additional features like PWM and interrupts functionality. Pro Mini provides just 4 analog pins as compared to 6 available on Arduino Nano. On both boards pins A4 and A5 are meant for I2C communication. I'm not thrilled with the locations of those pins uh, on Pro Mini. If we place this microcontroller on the custom PCB it is not an issue, but if you plan to use it in the breadboard prototype you have to solder male header pins on top so you can connect jumper wires to those pins without messing up with other pins connectivity. In that regard Nano is much more useful. And lastly we have two set of RXTX serial communication pins on Pro Mini as compared to just one set on Nano. Now to the biggest difference between those boards. Nano has the USB port that makes it super easy to connect it to PC and load the sketch. As you see such port does not exist on Pro Mini. So how does the interfacing between PC and this microcontroller work? You have those four pins ground, VCC, RX and TX conveniently located so they can be connected to UART converter. The Pro Mini board I ordered came with the male header pins separately, so I need to solder them on. The last set of 90 degrees header pins is for UART interface that will help us to connect the microcontroller to the PC. The Arduino Pro Minis come in 3 volt logic uh, version and also 5 volt logic version. They are not specifically marked, so before you start using your microcontroller in a 3 volt circuit, make sure that you are having the right voltage. I am doing it by powering and checking the voltage between VCC pin and ground. 3.3 volts indicates that you have Arduino Pro Mini that works in the 3 volt logic. So let's plug in the microcontroller on the breadboard and connect the single LED to one of the digital pins. I will demonstrate how to load the simplest blink sketch to microcontroller via UART interface. Let's connect the jumper wires to the microcontroller first. We connect ground and VCC and then RX and TX pins. Now over to UART to USB converter. 
We connect ground and VCC. And when connecting serial communication pins, we connect microcontroller RX to converter TX and microcontrollers TX to converter RX. So now we can connect the converter to the PC and select the right board and port in Arduino IDE setup. Let's open the blink sketch and adjust it to use the pin we connected our LED to. Now we can send the code into the microcontroller. But you will see that after pressing upload button the code compiles and nothing really happens. The upload is in progress and never finishes. There is a simple trick to fix this problem. Let's go back and try it again. Now you have to press upload button. The sketch is compiling first and then you see the message that it is uploading. As soon as this message appears you have to press reset button on the microcontroller. If you do it right, you see the sequence of LED flashes on the converter and you get done uploading message in Arduino IDE. Also, in our case, the LED at digital pin 4 starts blinking, which is a clear indication that the blink sketch was successfully loaded. So this is pretty much it. I can now use this microcontroller with components that I have, which require free volt logic. Hope you will find this video useful and add Arduino Pro Mini to your microcontroller collection. As always, like and share this video. Please also consider supporting my channel by becoming my patron. You can find the links to my patron website in the description below. I will see you in my next video.